Banzai! Hey everybody, and welcome to... Well, this isn't exactly Let's Read, though it is kind of Let's Read. Uh, Only good, kind. Good, goodness, this is actually going to be... I, I forgot, I probably need to come up with an actual name for this series, because... Let's what? Read Advanced? We read things that are harder to make fun of? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Let's what? Read 201. Hold on, okay, uh... Welcome to Let's Read Next Generation the Next Generation. <laughs> or maybe Make it so. Let's Read Let's Read Turbo. Oh wait, no so. it should be called no, uh uh let's let's read New Game Plus. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's read just Turbo start would be for reading stuff that's even worse. I mean, if you've seen Power Rangers, Turbo's even worse. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. True uh so now that we've come up with the name, uh we'll continue we'll explain what this is. Uh, we're going to be doing a very special edition of Let's Read, uh, or possibly an ongoing series of Let's Read, uh, where we're going to be looking at stories that are less shit than the ones we're normally reading. Like, these are not stories that are so bad that, like, every paragraph has something hilariously awful about it. These are stories that a lot of people think are actually really good. They're just wrong. These stories are fucking awful. And we're going to explain that to you as we make fun of them while reading stories that are at least, for once, legible uh, yep theoretically we may even move to points where there's disagreement as to whether or not the story sucks exactly and oh. that's fun we're all gonna make fun of it anyway and we'll rotate yeah. i'm doing the first i'm made the first choice but i'll let one of you guys choose the next one and uh the other one will choose the one after that yeah. and then we're going to move on to the story that i wanted to do as the opener because fuck that start, 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 <laughs> okay <laughs> it could have calm your tits <laughs> Okay, but what we're starting with is Pony Psychology Series by Saddle Soap Opera, which is the story that I, fir uh, the first story I read uh, that I actually, like, read it and immediately went, my god, this is really bad, but I could make fun of this in a way that would be really funny. In fact, I even wrote, like, the script of a written, uh, before I started doing, like, these Let's Read videos, I actually did a written, rev a written riff of this story uh, that was actually also called Let's Read. It was like Let's Read with Duod. Uh, oh, and uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't Let's Read with Duod. It was like, uh, it was something close to that. But anyway, the point is, I tried to do a written riff of this story. Uh, and I got like through like half of it. And it was actually pretty funny. But then I sort of just gave up. I got bored. I wanted to write uh, Pony Dead. I decided I wanted to write Pony Dead instead. Because that sounded like it would be more fun. Yeah. Uh, and that's how that story started. But the point is, I've always had it out for this fucking story. Pony Psychology series by Style Soap Opera. And now is an opportunity to finally get back into it and punch this story in the goddamn kidneys. The I kidneys? read this a long time ago. I remember it being... Alright. Yeah. And... and I'm going into this blind, so there you go. Although, I will say, this is a bit closer to a lot of the stuff we get at the library. So, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's do it! Okay, so this is a... R romantic, sad, dark, slice of life story uh, that has 965 upvotes and only 37 downvotes. So people like this one. The description goes as follows. One by one, Twilight and her friends must come to terms with the consequences of being the elements of harmony. Which is actually bullshit, but whatever, we'll get back to that. These stories take place in the intervening time between season one and season two. With, an with the exception of Ditsy Do, dot dot, Muffins, which takes place early in season one. The series continues in the sequel, Secrets and Lies. Pony Psychology uh, has its own TV uh, Trust page. Okay, you know what? I am gonna go into. Is it on the Fanfic Rex page as well? I don't know, maybe. Oh, well, yeah, because sometimes there have been fics that get in there occasionally. There's one. Dragon Age pick we could talk about, but that's not related to this. Anyway. We'll get around to that later. But when it comes yeah. to your choice, by the way, when it comes to you guys' choices, feel free to pick anything. Pony or not. Yes! Pony. Yes! As long as it's short <laughs> under 100,000 words, please. Like, uh, uh, yeah, after uh, under 100,000 words. It. Just so that it can act, so we can actually finish it. Uh, damn it. Okay. But yeah, they don't have to be ponies. But for now, we open up with chapter one. Fluttershy Origins. And it even comes with its own title card. It's because uh, oh Mother it, is the name for God in the lips and hearts of little children. William uh, Mark Peace uh, 
Thackeray. 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 Hmm. Yeah. And if yeah. you look at the image, it is a uh, it is a cha- it is a pilot swap Twilight Sparkle with wings <laughs> and a blob for a cutie mark with instead of using a baby Fluttershy what? because yeah no. they're supposed to be a chi- like Fluttershy's a child but instead of actually having her as a child they just have a smaller version of her adult sprite next to a gigantic Twilight no I'm still trying to figure out what the fucking cutie mark is like it looks like the kind of shit it, my it's a my plot point six year old cousin would do up on Microsoft Paint what the hell is like that a- it looks like a fractal of some sort. Yeah. Again, uh, I don't even... Uh. Uh, this is going to be a plot point, and it's going to be a really stupid plot point. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, Rydell, you want to be our narrator? Very well. All right. Fluttershy Origins by Saddle Soap Opera with Day One DLC. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll play the central character of the chapter. Uh, uh, Hair, you get to be the other people. Okay. Episode 1 of the Pony Psychology Series. This is you, I think right? this is both of you. Oh, oh right. Both okay, of you. one, two, three. The best, the best night, night ever. ever! The disheveled Ponyville ponies, Princess Celestia and Spike, burst into laughter. Uh-huh. The Grand Galloping Gala hadn't turned out the way they'd hoped, but they'd managed to salvage the night anyway. All was well. The end. <laughs> see that? Tra- see that story wasn't so bad. Okay, I take it back. I mean, I mean, it was a bit short. Yeah. But uh, oh, wait, there's more. Yeah, Princess man. Celestia excused herself to go and manage the dozens of shocked and outraged guests that still lurked in the grand ballroom a few stories above, leaving the six ponies and their dragon companion to enjoy each other's company. And some more donuts before returning to their enchanted apple coach and making the trip back to Ponyville. So according to holy the story, sen- holy sentence graphs, dude! What the hell? Yeah. Also, apparently, uh, Pony Joe's donut shop is literally part of the castle, it's just <laughs> on the bottom floor. Oh my god! Well, that's <laughs> royal treatment right there. <laughs> Verity's would-be paramours had seen the fiasco in the ballroom, but a few more dainty bats of her long eyelashes and a tiny peck on the more reluctant stallion's nose convinced them to pull the coach once again. Pour it out, girls. Pour it out. That and the fact that, you know, they needed to get back to Ponyville, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soon enough, the group was back at the Carousel Boutique, carefully removing the damaged remains of their gala dresses while Spike snoozed under a basket of yarn. Wait, in a basket it? of yarn. He's a cat. Oh, wait. Oh, he's a wait, cat. Wasn't it? Fluttershy technically the only one who had a really destroyed dress? I mean, yes. correct me if I'm wrong, because... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's no. what I thought. Like, the rest just well, need a good dry cleaning for the Rarity's most Rarity's missing a shoe. Oh, yes, the sh- missing a shoe. The yeah. exact same thing is having your. I think they had some other like. like some... It's probably gonna need more than a dry cleaning. Cause I think you know, it looked like yeah. maybe they need some stuff restitched mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, but, like, yeah, right, yeah, but it's. Dark Joe's the only one who's sporting the whole "I spit on your grave" look right now. <laughs> yeah, that's star true. joke. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. The mayhem at the gala was still the hot topic of conversation. No oh, shit. Yeah, really. <clears throat> All right. When the princess and I walked into the ballroom, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Laughed Twilight Sparkle, her horn glowing as she magicked the starry cloak off her shoulders and into a neatly folded square. Uh, cut us some slack, Twilight, said Rainbow Dash, unceremoniously shaking the golden laurel reef from her multicolored mane. You can't even turn around without something getting in your way in that palace. Clausdale's buildings are made with tons of open spaces. How is it really supposed to maneuver in Mad- ca- Whoa, implications? That- wow. Uh, okay, this is... That's weird. Okay, who <laughs> killed Rainbow Dash and replaced her with this? So really eloquent douchebag? I don't know. Any- yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. How is it really supposed to maneuver in Canterlot with all those statues and columns and crowds and stuff everywhere? She flapped her wings, hovering in midair for emphasis. 
No wonder we made such a mess. Well, well, most people wouldn't fly in there, Rainbow Dash. So calm your tits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got we got another little uh, house-sized word coming up here. Yeah. Oh dear. <clears throat> Fluttershy's little stampede might have had something to do with it, too. Stampede in italicies, because sure, why not? Even though Added. stampede is... Mm. Sorry. Because stampede is... It's like, yeah, Fluttershy's yeah, little it's... stampede might well, have something to do with it. It would be a lo- pretty common for mm-hmm. people in Texas, I think. So it's sort of just, like, not that fancy. Like... I don't think it's supposed to make it Texas? fancy. I think it was emphasis. Yeah, but it's like, yeah. it's a really weird emphasis. It's like, maybe yeah. Fluttershy's a little stampede. Yeah, that's it's true. Like, it is an odd place yeah. to put emphasis. Yeah. And yeah. Applejack, as he switched her Galahad for her standard headwear. Shucks, for a second there, I thought every pony was going to talk what happened up to plain old bad luck. But then, yee-haw, bird and buddy rodeo. I'm from Texas, y'all. In the corner of the room, Fluttershy blushed, her rosy cheeks matching the color of her mane. Wait, do people British in the question, do people in the question know what a rodeo actually is? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, object doesn't they, that, yeah. Oh, oh, that's right, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Sorry. Damn it. Damn it, I forgot that episode. Rodeos are canon. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I had a brain part there. That's anyway. Right, that's right. <clears throat> Oh, oh my. Was it really that bad? Fluttershy's voice seemed even meeker than usual. Her wings twitched nervously. <clears throat> it was quite the scene, darling, said Rarity from behind a changing screen. The glow of the unicorn's horn was faintly visible through the screen's golden silk, as, she, as was the magic brush taming the tangles in her coiling purple mane. For some reason, Good. I don't know what it is with rarity with like fanfics writers and uh, writing rarity but every time they like they write darling or you know darling is da space you know like uh, line I, ling I always just want to read it as a Dalek it's like oh it was quite the scene darling yeah really it's so it seems so weird too because I know that British people would just pronounce the R or yeah. something well hold on her accent's not British it's yeah, Tidewater it's- yeah, yeah. Which is actually an American accent. Yes. You mean it, mid Atlantic? Kind of, yeah, no. Uh, I think mid Atlantic is another term for tidewater. But ah, either way, sure. it's a, it's an actual American effect. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um. Yeah. Still, that purple prose. Jeez. Yeah. But I can hardly fault you now, can I? After all, a moment earlier, I was shaking up a flavor frosting all over the face like some hyperactive fall. Oh, right, that's me, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, frosting! You are so excited. Added Pinkie Pie, springing out of her piled gala clothes like a colt in the box. It's okay, it- Fluttershy. I'll bet those animals were all stuffed up the boring types, just like all those ponies in the ballroom. I mean, seriously, who can resist the pony pokey? It's just not natural. It's like the totally funnest song. It's like totally the funnest song ever. You ain't your right, fool, man. Stop! Oh, hold on a second. Said. I, I believe, Rydell, you wanted to say something real quick about that Colt in the Box thing. Sorry. The, I, I just kind of paused in a moment because, like, it, the naming there seems a little odd, but I can't think of a way to improve it. It's, well, it's, it's like it does seem like it? something that would change because Jack isn't a pony name. Yeah, but so something that would need to be changed. Can't think of a better way to do that. Though. Yeah, but it's like yeah. Why would you call it a what is this, essentially a boy in the box? Yeah, it sounds weird. Yeah, so it seems like it's not the best name for it. But I can't come up with anything better because we don't really have a stereotypical cult's name. Yeah. We could always call it the Lonely Island in the Box. <laughs> Stick be- in a box, yo! <laughs> See, I, and I that's know. why that toy is not named after someone named Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I want that alternate universe where they are just called Richard in a Box. <laughs> anyway, yeah. stop. You hey. said 
<clears throat> said Twilight, cutting off Pinky before her song and dance could fully begin. Uh, I mean, we're all pretty tired from the gala, and we wouldn't want to, to uh, cheapen, uh, cheapen the pony pokey with low-effort dance moves. Twilight <laughs> smiled nervously, her eyes silently begging Twinkie to... F- Pinky to swallow her excuse. Oh I don't know why I my. said Twinkie. <laughs> Pinky, yeah. Pinky pondered for a bit, still teetering on one hoof in mid-dance step. You're right, Twilight! She said at last. I think something like that calls for maximum energy! Twilight sighed with relief, and the other ponies did likewise. And thus continuing our trend of having terrible fanfiction writers always writing every other character besides Pinky as being just constantly frustrated and angry with Pinky just all the time. It's like, God, why do we even hang out with this person? She's so fucking annoying! Like, I don't get that. Like, that is like, I see that everywhere. Everywhere. Well, some people are apparently very annoyed with Pinkie Pie. I guess, but it's like, why would the rest of the main six just have a seething loathing for her energy? Mm, that's true. Anyway. Get All right. Uh, uh, this is uh, Dash, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought that entrance was awesome, Fluttershy! Said Dash after a moment. You were pretty tough facing down that dragon up on the mountain, but I've never seen anything like that from you before, or heard! I didn't know you had it in you! Dash nudged Fluttershy with an elbow, but the yellow pony Pegasus didn't react in the slightest. Say, are you okay? I'm having a flashback. Fluttershy was standing stock still, her eyes staring straight ahead at nothing in particular. Dash's words, I didn't know you had it in you, still echoed in her ears, pulling her down a long and winding path of memories. All while she's just... Memories! Boo! All while she's standing stock still and staring directly forward. Remember that she's doing that during this entire next segment. Okay. Yay, Catatonia! Woo! <laughs> she was a foal again. Her earliest memory was of staring up at her mother's vivid yellow flank. Oh, mama! The... Oh dear. The mare's cutie mark was a snarled jumble of multicolored sparkles, like a childish scribble. Like a frontal pattern. But, yeah, I was going to say, that picture didn't quite resemble a childish scribble, but... Yeah. Slowly, like clouds moving, the patterns would twist, coil, and knot, sometimes even changing colors. As a foal, she thought it was pretty. It wasn't until much later that she learned what it meant. And why the reason? Why it was the reason her father had left her? So Man, I'm get I uh, recall, and guess okay. her mother's special talent was having a mental disorder. Yes. Oh God, no. It was maybe a year later, and her mother was scaring her. She'd woken Fluttershy up in the middle of the night, all hissing whispers and fear-widened eyes. That stare, that wild-eyed stare of a mother fearing for her offspring pierced Fluttershy to her core, planting seeds of fear and doubt that would haunt her for the rest of her days. Uh, The mare hustled her foal down the spiral ramp in the middle of their home, all the way to the basement, where the clouds were so thin they almost sagged under the tiny pony's hooves. Dragons, her mother had insisted. There were dragons on the hunt, and they needed to be very still and very quiet until they went away. Fluttershy fell asleep, listening to her mother softly crooning a lullaby, panic edging her every word. Wait, okay, wait a second. We have four uses of the word fear in that, like, the first two sentences of that uh, paragraph. Yeah, but the other thing I'm thinking of is, is this going to attempt to explain her fear of dragons? Yes, no, every single chapter of the story is meant to be the explanation of how all the main six all have deep-seated psychological issues, which is why that why they're the characters that they are. Every now, single one. I can't necessarily disagree that they don't have deep-seated psychological issues, but... <laughs> but, like, yeah, no, it's... Not only is it, like, stupid, like, extremely stupid, it's also incredibly offensive to anyone who actually has these disorders... Because basically Although, just treats them all like... Oh, no. I do remember oh, reading dear. a uh, uh, thing oh, where dear. a psychologist had actually sort of gone over each of the characters and determined like that 
of the main six, everyone but Applejack fit very nicely with uh, one of the personality disorders. It's actually kind of funny because I actually heard the exact opposite at the uh, Bernie Size panel in uh, at BronyCon. Like the the uh, the psychologists who are actually all like members of the, the American Psychiatric Society had this uh, person come up like during the Q and A session and were like, "Hey, so I I think that P- Flourisha has PTSD and like I, I think like these characters well, like what, what uh, mental disorders do you think these guys have?" And they essentially said none. These characters do not have mental disorders. Like, if you actually watch the show, like, if you actually know anything about mental disorders, they don't fit into any of these things because you can't actually diagnose someone with a mental disorder just by looking at the way they act in these things. Like, unless the writers had expressly gone in with the intention of giving them mental disorders, you would not be able to accurately diagnose them with anything because that is not how you accurately diagnose mental disorders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's true. You really can't do that well with uh, fictional characters unless it's meant to be an examination of that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, so it's usually, uh, when, you, when you do see something like that, it is going to be rather rough. And in the case of a lot of these cycle, the uh, stuff that they'd put, it wasn't particularly strong. Well, it's pop psych but, stuff. It's like, it's, you know, kind of fun as a party trick, but it doesn't really and, uh, work. And, yeah, and some of I them, have I think. To... Uh, it's I like have the feeling the ditzy do chapters are really gonna piss me off. Oh, and I do think that one that uh one of the ones they assigned the next version of the uh of the DSM didn't list that as like a categorized personality disorder anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, it's like uh, it's like when stories use things like uh, multiple personality disorder. Like that doesn't exist. That has never existed. That's not actually a real yeah. thing. Now this, it is all stuff that exists. It's yeah. just uh, they, it's the next one. It's just the next version. It fell from being its own to yeah. uh, personality disorder unclassified. Right. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the, but, the, the the point I'm trying to get to with all this is like this sort of thing where you use like pop psych to try and like diagnose characters with disorders in order to essentially go like oh no but like she's scared because she has ptsd or something is just like the most offensive thing in the world to people with ptsd or with uh, schizophrenic personality disorder or you know whatever yeah it's just like super oh, kind of schizophrenic sketchy. personality disorder is you combining two things no i, I know i know there's schizoid or uh, schizotypal personality disorder and there's schizophrenia there's yeah, separate. yeah. Right. Like that. Uh, anyway, but the point is, yeah, yeah, let's, it's, like the, the, yeah. the story does not do anything even remotely yeah. like that. It's no, this, yeah. Yeah, this is trying to go for more dramatic stuff. Personality disorders. It's more. It's a person with them will usually still fu- they'll still function in society. Yeah, and stuff. So, not not yeah. here. Let's continue on. We've already gone yeah. off topic for long enough. Yeah. Okay. I was enjoying being off topic. She was still a foal, but older still, and she was reading about sewing. The winter was coming, and without the bits to buy warm clothes, Fluttershy had no choice but to make scarves, boots, and padded saddles for her and her mother. I'm not sure that how that's going to help against the Game of Thrones zombies, but okay. A what? shaft of light from the setting sun reminded her that it was time for her mother to take her medicine. The older mare's cutie mark was now a featureless gr- slate-gray circle, but the scribbled patterns were faintly visible around its edges. So it's she didn't. Not it's shape shifting, but it's, it's shape shifting cutie mark. What? It's a featureless gray circle that has features around the edges. So it's not a featureless gray circle then. Sh- sh- shut up! Shut up! I'm being artistic. She didn't want to take the pills. They made everything gray. She said they made her dull. She needed her wits. She said in case the dragons come. Gently, kindly, and for the thousandth time, Fluttershy reminded her mother that there were no dragons in Cloudsdale. Or are there? <laughs> bum, bum, bum. She was ah. home the last day of school before summer vacation, but she wasn't happy. Spending so much time caring for her mother had chipped away at her study time, and her grades had slipped badly. Her flight skills were even worse. Her teacher had told her she would have to repeat the grade next year. And that meant no summer flight camp until the year after. As Fluttershy walked into her home, she instantly knew that her mother was off her meds again. The place was in disarray, and she could hear her mother's paranoid muttering coming from the upper story. 
I like the idea of like a society that is built entirely in the clouds where everyone has to be able to fly to survive and they going to like the slow students and saying, okay, you can't learn to fly until next summer because you need to focus on your academics. Yeah, that's kind of dumb, isn't it? It's like, hey, we're going to take our dumbest members of our population and make sure they can't save themselves if they fall off something. Well, maybe yeah, that's a deliberate make plan. Them- Oh yeah, it's Darwin. It's some form of uni- some form of eugenics. Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! We can't no. be aggressive. Can't be aggressive about it. We'll just uh make sure they oh. don't have the tools and to succeed. And now I'm getting Rainbow Factory flashbacks. Yeah, I was say, Rainbow right Factory now. is canon in the story. Fuck! <laughs> no, no, it's not canon. Just some of the ideas behind it. <laughs> uh. Thank God for those butterflies. This is subtler. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what was that? Uh, uh, the place was in disarray, and she could hear, hear her mother's paranoid muttering coming from the upper story. As she trotted up the ramp, she stepped on the torn remains of her favorite stuffed toy, Angel the Rabbit. Her mother, would, her mother would later tell her that she had no choice. Angel had been spying on them for the dragons. It was almost exactly one year later and two Pegasus stallions in heavy white smocks marked with red crosses were pushing her mother out of the house. You can't take me away, she screamed. I'm all she's got. I have to keep her safe, she said. She accused them of working for the dragons. Divide and conquer, she said. Split us up so you can eat us one by one. Softly, firmly, and for the very last time, Fluttershy spoke to her mother. She told her that the dragons didn't bring the doctor. Fluttershy had asked them to come. She was sick, and these ponies were going to help her. In an instant, the fear in her mother's gaze was replaced by burning rage. I'll take over this one since uh, Fluttershy... This one's actually... This one's in quotes. Yeah. Not narrated. Yeah, Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take it anyway, because it's it's the closest thing to to character dialogue that we've had in this this entire flashback. Yeah. You ungrateful, blank, blank little buzzard! Her mother howled as the stallions dragged her away by her back legs. Her front hooves dug furrows in the, cr- in the clouds, releasing rumbles of thunder. Because their house like, is built on storm clouds. These medical professionals are taking away the crazy lady yeah. to bring her to the hospital by grabbing her by her ankles and yanking <laughs> dragging her, her up a flight of stairs. Wow. Oh my god. That's awful. It's like, wow. what was your major in? Drama. This seemed like the most dramatic way to do it. No, no, no. no. Not even drama. What was your major Yiddish, because who the hell majors in that? Like, oh, no, no. Need... See, it's drama. They majored in drama, so they are dragging her away in the most dramatic way possible. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like no, that, that makes too much sense. <laughs> 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 you need me. You'll see. You don't know anything about anything. You'll never see the ground. When you get there, you'll still be right here. You're going to wait for me, and and. <clears throat> Yeah, you're going to love me. Fluttershy's demure green gala dress was in tatters. Her heart was pounding in her chest, and her lungs were burning from the exertion of hours spent chasing the palace's menagerie. Her cutie marks tingled and itched as her quarry ran one on each side. Uh, Two, Uh, one on each side. uh, Left uh, and right. Okay. As her quarry ran. I thought they were just referred to in singular, though. Usually, yes, but, I mean, technically it's not wrong, it's just kind of odd. Yeah. As her quarry ran to and fro through the ruins of the grand ballroom, she closed her jaws on a passing squirrel and wrenched it off its feet. A sick, dark impulse urged her to bite down until she heard a snap, but that was cut short by a shrill whistle from Twilight Sparkle. Realization spread spread through Fluttershy like a splash of cold water. The tingle in her cutie marks vanished. She dropped the squirrel. As the ponies galloped down the stairs together, she thought to herself, uh, <clears throat> uh, I have something you didn't, Mother. Something rare and special. Something that will keep my hooves on solid ground. Even when I'm flying, I'll never end up like you did, Mother. Back at the flashback. Never. What? Rainbow Dash tilted her head in confusion at Fluttershy's sudden statement. 
You've just been standing there for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, never, really. Never, ever better, Rainbow Dash. Thank you. Oh. Okay, then. Slowly, warmly, for the thousandth time, Fluttershy smiled at her fellow Pegasus. <sighs> Next episode, Pinkie Pie Schism. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Actually, that only took like half an hour, so you want to go straight on to the next episode? Yeah. Next time yeah. on... Actually, the, oh, when I was mentioning the personality sort of, one of the things that they completely discounted and didn't bother with was the whole Pinkie Pie Pink Amina thing. They didn't consider that to be something yeah. Uh, yeah. constant what? enough to be relevant. I think... Yeah. I don't remember what they... Well, the thing about yeah. like, the Pink Amina uh, thing is that it's not actually like... It, it really separate personalities. It was just her... Being upset. Kind of being in a funk. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, that's really. basically why they said that they, they didn't put her in anything in like the, uh, you know, that stuff. Yeah. Anything yeah. involving that. Because, yeah, basically that was just her being upset. Yeah. I, I think there was actually a really good, uh, there was a thing that uh, uh, Greg Hoffman, Finn Pan Philosophy, uh, did about this. And he, he's also a, a psych major, uh, but he was kind of yeah. talking about like the whole like Pink Amina thing. And he had, like, the kind of interesting bit about that where he was just sort of saying, like, the thing is, even, like, if you were to take it, even if you were to consider it to be, like, you know, like, an alter personality or, like, her, like, being in a, like, different emotional state or something to, like, an extreme, yeah. it's not, like, her, like, the whole idea of her being murderous or more dangerous yeah. as Pink Amina doesn't make sense because the thing that triggered that wasn't the idea of, like, I'm, like, super angry. It was the idea of all my friends have left me. I'm really depressed. Like, yeah, so if... It if 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 yeah. there's any psychological thing there, it'd be more along the lines of being like manic depressive, bipolar. Yeah, yeah. The one thing I'm wondering about the Fluttershy. Actually, I do one. think. Actually, I think they might have given her bipolar, but hmm. knowing people with bipolar, that doesn't seem that off. Uh, well, the thing is, she doesn't really uh, switch between you know yeah. depressive and manic episodes rapidly enough for that to really be the case. Well, well, but I, I think that it's the time scale can vary a lot. I knew a guy who was can, bipolar, yeah. but he'd kind of be in a phase, not for like days at a time, but for months or even years. So yeah, yeah, and I think Sylvia Plath was a bit like that in some regards. Yeah, yeah. one thing I'm wondering about the Fluttershy one is the implication is that Fluttershy's mother is ill with some kind of thing that causes her to be all paranoid. You know? Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even have uh, positive effects, and I think they're probably going for something like schizophrenia. Yeah. Well, but here's the thing. The way she's written, it just sounds like she's your generic David Icke subscriber. Yeah. She, she comes like, up as more just being incredibly paranoid and somewhat delusional rather than having, yeah. like, an actual... Yeah, like an actual mental illness. I don't see that in Fluttershy's mother at all, like... I don't know. It's just one of those things that just doesn't rub me the right way. So yeah. honestly, like the reading that whole thing, I feel like the the best comparisons I could probably draw to that would be less about her mother. Like in the real world, would be less than her mother going like, at any time, you know, Fluttershy. At any time, the the leprechauns are going to get at us. It, it, it really reads a lot yeah. more like you have to realize that the Zionist media conspiracy is out there. And they're going to get us. You can't take me away yeah. from my daughter. I know you Jews are running yeah. the hospital. Or the uh, yeah. Or if it is a um, mental, it's like uh, probably close to something like uh, I've been mentioning personality disorders. But there's a uh, there is a paranoia related one. Here's the thing, not something you'll get hospitalized for. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Because there's it's one. There's not anything they'd be able to do about it. It personality yeah. disorders are pretty much permanent, and they like said still for the most part functional. Yeah, something like that. Just, you know, I don't know. That yeah, and none of the stuff in there sense. seems like anything that would need her hospitalized. No, she's yeah, just really. kind of a raging racist and kind of a bad mom. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway, continuing on to Pinky. Anyway. And by the way, this is this is one of the dumber bits. Like, this yeah. is one of the bits that kind of, yeah. I read this and was like, okay, that first bit was dumb. This yeah, is where I realized this is just going to go downhill fast. Okay. So, so are we switching the voices a bit? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking over Pinky this chapter. Uh, okay. And again, you'll be back over so, people. I forgot so, how little uh, Thorch I actually talked in the last one, but I think Pinky actually has most of the uh, most of her own dialogue this time. Anyway, it's All Pinkie right. Pie. Well, it's Pinkie Pie. She had most of the dialogue last time too. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yes, Pinkie Pie okay. Schism, Chapter Two, <clears throat> and the quote for this one is: uh, 
Tears are the safety valve of the heart. When too much pressure is laid on it, Albert Smith. That's a weird cadence to how you said that. <laughs> I, I know. I, yeah, I, really. I, I <laughs> yeah. Tears are the safety valve of the heart when too much pressure is laid on it. Albert Smith. Pinkie Pie, Schism, by Saddle Soap Opera, Episode 2 of the Pony Psychology Series. Pinkie Pie was so very, very tired. She had woken up tired Pie. yesterday, too. She had yawned into her punch glass during yesterday's party. She dragged herself yeah. into bed with barely a shred of energy left after the last guest had left. And with the drawing of a new day, she felt as if the sun had risen the instant she'd shut her eyes. Man, insomnia sucks balls, man. <laughs> yeah, really. Ugh. Anyway. Thought, you know, you know, getting over an illness or something. Yeah. yeah. Thoughts of her old home floated through her mind as she fought not to fully wake up. The gloomy routines of rock farming had been her entire world for the better part of her childhood, and it had taken a multicolored atmospheric extravaganza to make her realize that there could be more to life than a weathered face prematurely aged from pushing rocks and meal after meal of stone soup. <laughs> can you just a imagine... multicolored atmospheric extravaganza? Can, can you just imagine a multicolored Pinky's... atmospheric extravaganza? Can I, I could say... picture Pinkie Pie saying that, though. Yeah, it's like, that, that's totally what her inner monologue sounds like. It doesn't stop it from being hilariously <laughs> bad. Yeah. It's like, wow. That is the purplest fucking prose I have yet read <laughs> this week. Oh, I've seen more purple prosy than well, this. I said like, this week. This week. No, no, no. Like, literally. Oh, no, it would seen... be funnier if this had been, if you'd said that tomorrow. On Sunday, first day of the oh, week. God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway. At times like this, when sleep did little to purge her weariness, she couldn't help but wonder what would have happened if she'd missed seeing the sonic rain boom. Would she still be there on the farm? Would her sister still have left home when she did? Without God. opening her eyes, she rubbed a front hoof across the faint rock pushing callus that's callus still present on the end of her nose. That is one no, this is before I... before Maud was introduced. Yeah, yeah no, I was, I'm, so. that was just a joke. But, I wow. don't think that's how you spell callus. Also, that is one stubborn fucking callus. <laughs> Hold on, let me... Yeah, that's not how you spell callus. There should be an O. Um, oh, wait. Oh, wait no, that's how on. you spell callus. That's how you spell callus. C-A-L-L-U-S. Hmm. Callus oh. is just one of those oh. words where spelling oh, it correctly it's... looks misspelled. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I hate those Sorry. Words. Anyway. Eventually, the insistent glow of sunshine became too bright to ignore, and she crawled out of the quicksand-like embrace of her plush bed and plopped over to the mirror, standing against the wall opposite her bedroom door. Oh, oh my God. Get out of the plush pile. <laughs> Pinky looked at herself in the mirror and instantly regretted it. Yesterday had just been the tip of the iceberg. The past few days had been particularly party-intensive, with a seemingly endless array of reasons for her and her friends to let their hair down. And whip it the... back and forth. <laughs> they whipped their hair back and forth. The toll that all this partying had taken was undeniable. She looked terrible. Her unruly magenta mane hung limply around her face, and her wide blue eyes were ringed with rose-colored circles much darker than her carnation pink hide. Holy shit, how many oh. fucking colors are you going to name drop in that sentence, brother? I'm imagining that this fic is going to stop the second that he runs out of colors to go with. Magenta, blue, okay. rose. Well, my monitor can display, what is it, 16 million colors? So we've got a while. Oh, dear. Fatigue yeah. seemed to radiate off her like steam off of freshly baked cupcakes. She could count on her hooves the hours she'd, of sleep she'd gotten this week. So, zero? That, yeah, I was going to say, that sentence actually amuses me just because being able to count on your hooves is a lot lower than being able to count on your fingers. Yeah. Well, I mean, not just that, but... 
How do you count your hooves? Like, do you just count the whole One, hoof? Two, or do you... three, four. Well, or you do you count? Hoof. Or do you count the? individual corners of the hooves like one two three four well, and then it doesn't have corners each. yeah it's, it doesn't have corners it's an arc oh oh that's right it's um, it's a my little pony thing uh, unless you're dealing with a uh some sort of horse with square hooves oh my god <laughs> wow that is yeah anyway like um trained to square wheels from uh rudolph the reindeer oh shit you're right oh that was a good movie uh, yeah, dang. Dang, though. Pinky violently shook her head while blowing a raspberry. Bang your head! Briefly turning her head into a noisy pink tornado. <laughs> when she <laughs> said, <started. laughs> What is with the pros in this thing? I don't know. Hold on. This is Pinky. That could be literal. I, I, I imagine it is. This is so funny, though. I, I'm actually imagining her head like whipping back and forth, and the hair actually just like forming into like devil horns. It's like, yeah. I picture her whipping it back and forth, and her hair turning into a tornado. <laughs> and then, and then she whisks Dorothy away into Oz. Ah, well, uh, yes, she good old. Yeah, so you're you're familiar with Dorothy Gale, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what if you ask someone familiar with Dorothy, they think Wizard of Oz. If you ask that they're familiar with Dorothy Gale, they have no clue who you're talking about. Uh, well, I mean, isn't she Dorothy Gale? Which, Kansas? Yeah, her, la her last name is Gale. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. When she wait, stopped and faced the mirror again, her eyes were, were a touch brighter. Wait, people don't know that? I don't know. People don't know that. Was it even oh mentioned God. in the movie at all? I or was think it just it mentioned was. in the book? That's yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. If it was, it was like mentioned once offhand. Well, like, I yeah, think it was mentioned when Dorothy introduced herself to Glinda the Good. And I know this because I was watching clips of it earlier today for snarking-related reasons. So uh, I can expect understand people not remembering that little bit. I have asked, as, as I mentioned earlier, we were kind of surprised when we were reading a fic with Cadence. where It was a bad fic, but the author remembered that before being an alicorn, she was a pegasus. Yeah, this is kind of one of those weird little huh. fun facts that like a lot of people will forget. But Did you know yeah. that? I haven't seen season four yet, so... Not in season four. It's in one of the GM Barrow books. Yeah. Oh, well, that I don't even... I didn't even know existed, so there you go. Yeah, there you go. But anyway. Yeah, it's, again, it's one of those weird things. Yeah. Anyway, Back to the story! Pinky's, Pinky's thing. Right. Ha! Who's being a little Miss Gr oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck you. You uh -oh. fucking fo telephone motherfucker. <clears throat> anyway, where, where was it? She Fairly said friendly. her reflection. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> her reflection. No. Um. Oh, who's being a little Miss Grumpy Hooves? She said to her reflection. Come on, let's put a smile on that face, Pinky. Come on, no. let's see a smile, is the actual line. That's no. She willed the corners of her mouth to rise, but the results were scarcely satisfactory. It wasn't her usual winning smile. It wasn't even a grin. It was closer to a grimace. Maybe even a rictus. Oh my. A rictus okay, is a I, just, I just pulled that word up on Google, and they actually used it correctly. Yeah, Doug, you wouldn't say it's not a grin, it's a rictus. You'd say it's a rictus grin, so it would be still a grin, just of a particularly more rictus No, grin. but but Google has rictus as a noun, so it's the right part of speech. So, yeah. all right, fair enough. I guess it's just one of those things that like everyone uses it one way, but this is actually the correct way. So, props, props. I'll You've heard that. people use rictus in normal conversation? No, uh, that's no, it's, the whole it's, thing. Yeah, it's, it's only in like really uh, pretentious or really old books. Yeah, like I didn't even know that was a word. Yeah, I think the only time I've actually ever seen it is when describing a corpse. Like, he's saying, like, I, a corpse had a rictus grin. Good God, yeah. I haven't uh, seen prose this purple since Octavarius Kaiser Scott. And he yes. used um one point. On the other hand, it is reminding me of the uh, ruckus fracas conversation. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Uh, geez, it's calling back all over the place. Anyway. Right. She, let it, she let her mouth flop down into an exhausted frown. Her eyebrows dropped as well, and her mane and tail drooped slightly. She trotted closer to the mirror and put one front hoof on either side of the wash bin resting in front of it she unceremoniously dunked her face into the cold water the shock made her heart race oh, with, a spree of... hmm. 
With a supreme effort, she arranged her dripping face back into something resembling friendliness. Oh my um, gosh. So just like molding her, she's freezing her flesh and then molding into place. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Oh, ooh, ooh, you're a toughie. She said to the mirror, droplets scattering off her face as she spoke. When I fell down, there's one thing that always cheers me up. A party! <laughs> I'm exhausted from partying. Let's have an exhaustion party! <laughs> Not surprising as pinky logic. Nope. Well... She spread her front hooves wide. It and there are people who really do just get energized being around other people, so... Yeah. Well, here's the thing. This yeah. whole chapter is supposed to say that... It, it, the whole point of this chapter is that there are actually not people who are like that. Extroverts do not exist. They are actually all secretly super depressed. <laughs> she spread her front hooves wide open, releasing a burst of confetti from nowhere in particular. As the colorful paper scraps settled onto the wooden floor, Pinky stayed on her hind legs, legs front hooves still raised, Please waiting stop. for the laughter to come. The fun, joyous, silly, filly surge of energy that helped her leave every other reveler in Ponyville in the dust. Nothing happened. She let her hooves drop. She took a, beat, a deep breath. I said... She darted under her bed, pulled out a party horn, and blew a deafening honk in the mirror. A party! <laughs> Again, she felt nothing. The horn fell out of her mouth. She sat down heavily. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Hair, Her, why don't you take the uh, evil reflection pinky? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with this. Why are you even still doing this, Pink Amina? She silently asked her reflection. What's the point? She scowled at the mirror. Why don't you stop lying to yourself? You know what's wrong. You're all partied out. You can jump and shout and dance and prank until pigs fly, but deep down, you're all partied out. <laughs> ah, yes, that was the problem. She'd run out of party supplies. <laughs> she was literally partied out. Well, a trip, a, a trip quick... A quick trip to Party City should fix that. Off to Equestria! I thought you say, Tears! Like, uh, it's like, oh no, she, she, she's out of party juice, that's fine. We'll just go and uh, find Dr. Feelgood and get her an injection. <laughs> Tears streaked down her cheeks. You should have paced yourself. Maybe one a week, two if there's a holiday. <laughs> but she wasn't aware that it was a consumable resource. <laughs> <laughs> Or an injectable resource. She has literally run out of parties. <laughs> yeah. But no, you partied and partied like there was no tomorrow, and I had a random Kesha joke just fly into my head, and now I can't do it because they're not going to die young now, are they? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> And now there isn't. You're In fact, one of them explicitly isn't going to die young. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. And now there isn't. You're worn out. Whenever that sonic rainbow put in you is used up. And what's left behind? What will they all say when they see you like this? Wait. So, I get your cutie mark special talentness is consumable? You can run out by using your special talent too much? Yeah, Fluttershy's actually right around the point where she's going to turn to a huge bitch constantly because she used up all of her kindness. Well, no, her oh special talent is kindness. Her special really? talent is dealing with animals. She is going to run out of ability to care for animals. <laughs> really? Well, hold on. Fucking really? Last... Wait, go back. The last chapter, she did have that urge to bite down on the squirrel. Oh, yeah. She's, she's, she is running out of her ability to work with animals. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Applejack is say... going to run out of apples. <laughs> Rainbow Dash is going to run out of speed. Twilight's going to run out of magic. Rarity's going to run out of fashion. Uh, I could give up okay, all right. Can I just say? Can I just say right now? 
that I, I as a musician, that actually kind of offends me because it's like it says, "Hey, you know your talent that you to work so hard to keep up with? Yeah, that can easily go down the drain like this, and there's nothing you can do about it." Because fuck you. Well, I'm there sorry, are times that feel like that, then suddenly you get smacked in the face by inspiration. Yeah. Uh, and again, it's like basically at, the point of all this is as an like, artist, sometimes it can feel like that. Oh yeah, but like yeah. the thing is like is well yeah, but. But you don't lose your any sort of real passion well, I, for it. It's just like with this whole thing, it's implying, hey, you know what? You're losing your passion for your special talent, and that means that your cutie marks gonna fade. Oh wait, no, they don't actually fade, do they? Never mind. You get like depressed yeah. and run out of steam. Like, here's yeah. the thing: it's totally possible to just get to a point where you just start or, becoming like depressed or something. But like, essentially, the point of this is like, oh, if you're an extrovert, you're basically just running on borrowed time, and you're eventually going to become horribly depressed because all extroverts are actually like self-loathing mm. people who, who don't actually like spending time with other people yeah yeah right then again but, there, are, uh, there are, uh, seems to be very common for extroverts to think that sort of thing about introverts that they're just extroverts who haven't gotten into it yet yeah oh no doesn't and stop it from being stupid i'd imagine no. this writer is probably an introvert because a lot of introverts yeah. uh yeah i'm an introvert i have a lot of introverts oh, yeah. and i know that there's a common perception of extroverts that they're actually just people trying to disguise the fact that they do not actually like spending time with people but are really just uh you know uh putting on a face but that's not true that yeah. is not the yeah. case it extroverts what extroverts really like spending a whole lot of time around other people there is something wrong with them <laughs> exactly yeah really but they're not going to run out of it anyway continuing though no yeah. as much as we sometimes wish they would yes god sometimes <laughs> Yeah, really. Yeah. Anyway. She gritted her teeth as it... Wait, now I'm just... To, how fucked is Equestria going to be when Celestia's talent runs out? Oh, shit. Oh, you no. should have paced yourself only one sunrise a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. She gritted her teeth as a bitter surge of loathing rose up from the empty places inside her like a snake slithering out of its den. Crawling in my skin. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Gloomy hooves. She muttered at the mirror. Wallflower stuck in the mud. She began to sh shake as her voice rose in volume. Tired old man, dull as dishwasher, barty pooper, stupid, boring rock farmer. We hate the uh, hobbits. We hate one thing them. we should note with the uh, the only accusation huh? that she's running out was from a voice in her head. Yeah. And given she seems to be in some sort of, at the very least, in some sort of f funk, if not a depression, get it, her leveling that accus sort of accusation at herself. Yeah. We can make sense because, you know, yeah. it's. What she loves, she's not into right now. You know you love it, but you, you can't get into it right now. You don't know why. You can easily just see that there being something wrong with you. Yeah. Especially when you literally have an image on your butt telling you you love doing this. Yeah. Why don't you love doing this right now? There must yeah. be something wrong with you. Oh, yeah. This totally could yeah, be really. a character. It's just that Pinky isn't really a character this makes sense for. And that's the yeah. thing with fan fiction. You not, you're not just writing an original character who has these traits. You're writing about a character who is an established mm. individual. Yeah, really. Mm. Mm. Anyway. I mean, let's not forget, when we did have Pinky get all depressed, what was the first thing she did? She Correction, what is the second thing she did? The first thing she did was uh, hold an interrogation session. Well, she started making her own yeah. friends. That's yeah, the thing. Like, she, she's, what yeah. Thing? And she, she threw, threw a party. party with those friends. She, she threw, threw a party. Yeah, she is so extroverted. A party of one. When, yeah, exactly. But like, that's the thing. It's like, Pinky is so extroverted that even when she thinks she doesn't have any friends, her first reaction is to make her own friends and then throw a party for them because that is literally how she deals with things. By partying yeah. and spending time with other people. If she doesn't have those yeah. other people, she goes crazy and makes those other people. Yeah, where, you know, an, intro, uh, an introvert, when you spend a lot of time with people, you wear out and need to spend time on your own. Yeah. For an extro, for yeah. extrovert, and, and then you spend your time on your own, you sort of recharge. For an introvert, it's kind of, the, for an extrovert, it's kind of the opposite. Exactly. That it's it, being alone, having to do stuff by themselves, wears them out, and spending time with people energizes them. Yeah. yeah. 
Now, admittedly, like, there are self-destructive uh, yeah. things yeah. extroverts can do. Like, this doesn't really make sense for an extrovert. What could be a self-destructive thing an extrovert might do is maybe, you know, start drinking at bars a lot, start, you know, hooking up with random people just to kind of spend more time or, with other people. one thing it kind of seemed to touch on a bit, literally party to exhaustion. Yes, yeah. you could totally do that. But your reaction to it isn't going to be like, oh man, I hate parties, I hate spending time with yeah. people. People suck so much, they don't understand it's gonna be, pain. Uh, I feel good. horrible, I should party more. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Par it's drinking will make... It's a... Uh, I feel absolutely horrible as an effect of all the drinking. Drinking will make me feel better. Yeah. When I'm yeah. drunk, I'm not feeling bad. It's just when I, yeah. when I wake up the next morning that I feel like shit. So obviously I have to start drinking earlier. Yeah, really. By the way, kids at home, I know I joke about this shit occasionally, but seriously, don't... Like, if you ever get to the point where it's like, man, I don't feel great when I'm not drinking. Maybe I should be drinking more. That's the point where you should put down the bottle and just consider picking up another hobby. Or get help. Or, hold on, the moment you consider drinking your hobby, <laughs> yeah. it's probably a point where you should consider taking up another hobby. <laughs> That's mm. a good point. Yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway, back to the story. Anyway. Outside, the sky above Sugar Cube Corner filled with a shock of color as Rainbow Dash surged into view from above. The speedy Pegasus neatly perched on the second-story windowsill of Sugar Cube Corner and pulled open the window with her mouth. She stuck her head inside and called out. Oh, wait, sorry. This is hey, Rainbow Pink Dash. Yeah, sorry, I lost my place. Hey, Pinky, you want to go? Oh, my gosh! You're worthless! <laughs> Pinky screamed and smashed her forehead into the mirror with punishing force. A spiderweb crack sp spread across the gra glass. You're nothing! <laughs> her face struck the glass again. Shards fell into the wash bin, revealing the mirror's wooden backing. A thread of blood spilled down Pinky's face from a cut on her forehead. As she drew back for another strike, she finally noticed the sky blue Pegasus staring at her in horror from the open window. Wow, I, I wish I could Wait. smash my face into a... Given the earlier thing. conversation she had with the mirror, I think that the message here is uh, there are positive effects of depression. No, I don't mean positive as in good, positive as yeah. in things like hallucination. Yes. Oh, which, uh, depression yeah. causes hallucinations. Yeah, someone with depression... That's you know, not... That's, that's so I not true. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I do like the fact that apparently she has the like physical toughness to smash her face through a plane of glass and have it have like no effect except for a small cut on her forehead. Yeah, really. That's impressive. Well, and I think that might also be canon. If you just look at the sheer number of things that she's been uh, able to do with her head. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. True yeah. enough, true enough. <clears throat> and uh, Twilight had an anvil fall on her head and just needed some bandages. Okay, fair, fair, fair. I'll give it yeah. that one. <clears throat> anyway, uh, she looked over uh, at Rainbow, who's looking horrified. <clears throat> Ra Rainbow Dash! <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> Pinky resumed her typical jolly manner in the blink of an eye. This time, her forced smile was so wide it made her jaw hurt worse than her forehead. Her mane had perked up to its usual frizz, except for a strand of forelock pasted to her face by the blood still oozing from her cut. <laughs> Rainbow Dash tried to speak, but her mouth felt numb. There, this was so much worse than walking in on Pinky's little party a few weeks ago. That's what she said! <laughs> I was gonna say, like, no, that's what she thought. Yeah, no, like, that's you... what she said. But sure, if this is no, like... no. This is this is her this is her thoughts. Oh, yeah. no. So it's what she thought. I, no, no it's Dash. what she said. Think Rainbow Dash she is the she, said. and and this is no, what no, she's the, thinking. Yeah, the, the, the next line, hair, is what he's talking about. Oh, who, who who's on first? Anyway, oh, well, I'm waiting for why me. me. She wondered. Is like, no, I, th I think what he was trying oh. to say is like uh, when she walked on Pinky's little party a few weeks ago. That's what she said. Because <laughs> I was going more for the yes, she did say that. Oh yeah, good point. Oh <laughs> oh, I get it. Man, this is like a, who's on first? Like fuck up. Who's? I don't give a damn. Anyway? No, he's shortstop. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Waiting for Pinky. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I thought Harold was going to do one me. Mm. <clears throat> like, oh, are we playing a guessing game? <laughs> Pinky's voice was almost sickeningly shrill and perky, much unlike two hods. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Starts with P. Ooh, party. Is it party? Rainbow Dash shook her head and hopped into the room, averting her eyes from Pinky's wide, gleaming gaze. She took a deep breath and forced the words to come out against their will at gunpoint. Of the closet. Pinky, I saw what you did. I, I heard what you said. Did something happen? Are you okay? Rainbow Dash waited for an answer, but she heard nothing. She looked over at Pinkie Pie, but the pink mare had vanished because she was suddenly right next to her. Ah! Dash yelped in shock. Don't tell any pony about this, Dashie, please! Fresh tears welled up in the Earth Pony's eyes. I was just a little sad, is all. God didn't mean anything. Every pony gets sad, right? Every pony! I mean, if you didn't get sad, how did you know what it was just when you got happy, right? Right? Pinky had her front hooves wrapped around Dash's shoulders. Her forehead was pressed against the Pegasus's. Dash could feel her friend's blood moistening the orange streak of her forelock and smell her hot, perpetually sugary breath. That's what she said. Oh. Isn't your breath smelling sugary perpetually like a sign of some severe medical disorder? Yeah. Like, That's like jaundice well, but or don't something? Tell, well, but don't tell <laughs> the purple pros that, because it doesn't like to be reminded how logic works. Actually, I'm just, cause, because of what Harrison said. No, no, this isn't, this isn't too purple. This is more lilac pros. Oh. No, actually, mm -hmm. with, with what Hare said earlier about Kesha, I'm now just, like, reading this line thinking, like, Pinky, like, wakes up in the morning. Oh, and my God! Her teeth with, God! A, with a bottle of frosting. Oh, uh, my God! Oh, fuck! <laughs> anyway, Raymond, actually... Well, uh, yeah. it, hold on. In the, oh, in the words of Randall Monroe, Dear Keisha... It's hard to describe the pain of a deeply infected dental nerve. To get an idea, put your hands in a bowl full of ice cubes. Hold them there for 90 seconds. Now imagine that pain in your jaw, every minute of every hour, bright and searing, washing out everything. You can't party all night. You can barely stand up. There is only the pain. So, some friendly advice. When you wake up in the morning, before you brush your teeth with a bottle of Jack, brush them with actual toothpaste. <laughs> nice. Anyway... Yeah. Yeah, I'll get right back to it. D don't worry, Pinky. I won't tell. Dash was struggling to get free now, flapping her wings and skating her hooves on the smooth wooden floor. You know, I promise, if please don't hurt me. <laughs> Pinky Sorry, let go. And, uh -oh. yeah, I was just commenting on making on a... If you never wear shoes or anything to increase your traction, why would you make your... Floor slippery enough that hooves can't get traction on it. Dude, that makes way too much sense. Oh shit. Oh dear. Unless it's so people can't escape. Oh god, no! Rainbow Factory and Cupcakes both can in this pick. Oh dear god, no! However, no, Rainbow Factory and Cupcakes are both canon, but Cupcakes happen first. <laughs> yes. And this is replacement Rainbow Dash. Great. Rainbow anyway. Wait, so this is Spike? <laughs> oh yes. dear god. That's the swag robot. Pinky let go, and Rainbow Dash surged backwards. She crashed into Pinky's bed, fell on a heap into it. Take me, Pinky! I'm yours! <laughs> draw me like one of your French girls. I think you mean draw me like one of your main Hatton girls. Oh, whatever. No. <laughs> Uh, France has been mentioned in oh, canon. Yeah, I mean, oh. I, I've seen people like... French haute couture. Yeah, exactly. And also, oh. uh, like, she right. has, uh, at one point, Apple Bloom starts speaking French. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> anyway. My sister's speaking fancy! Yes. That was a great line. Anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I knew I Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew I could count on you. You never break your promises. Would you, Dashi? After all the after all losing a friend's trust is the fastest way of losing a friend. In a split second, Pinky had scooped up Rainbow Dash and cupped the Pegasus's face in her hooves. Forever. You can get on me, Pinky! Rainbow Dash forced a smile and nodded as much as Pinky's grip would allow. Pinkie Pie released her and waved her hooves for joy. Yay! <laughs> You're the best, Ashy! Pinky gasped in realization. <gasps> oh, we should throw a party to remind everyone how awesome you are. I'll go get started. Mm. I'm pretty sure Rainbow Dash would be down for a Rainbow Dash's awesome party, regardless yeah. of context. Mm, you are yeah. kind of cra acting crazy, but on the <laughs> other hand, my but I does get some stroking. <laughs> With oh, that, Pinky took off down the stairs like a frizzy pink cannonball named Sam Guthrie. <laughs> pink fluffy unicorns <laughs> dancing on stairwells. Thank you. Wait, when she get become a unicorn? Pink fluffy earth ponies dancing <laughs> on stairwells. <laughs> Rainbow Dash sat on the bedroom floor curled up in a ball. She wanted to fly away, but she was shaking so badly she was worried she'd crash. Which undoubtedly would hit the library. Not since Rarity's confidence-crushing display of her magic gossamer wings before the Best Young Flyer competition had one of her friends upset her so profoundly. Hey, hey. Gossamer is the word that was actually used in the episode. Oh, no, yeah, no. I was going to say, I was just going to say, like, hey, hey, did, did you know I watched the show? <laughs> yeah. Did, did you get that? It was a thing that happened in the show. I, I, I can keep making references to episodes in the show. I know I've done like 20 of them so far, but I just want to prove I've seen even every episode, so I'm going to reference all of them. Yep. The burden of her new secret <clears throat> felt like a pair of cement saddlebags on her back. Jeez. And, and you know, so the far. funny thing is, the prose itself is sort of kind of like that. So. In a way, I'm kind of saying to the author right now, hey, zip your pants up. You don't have to wave it everywhere. You don't have to wave your cement saddlebags that are on your back everywhere? You know what I mean! <laughs> anyway, do -do 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 -do. transition. As the party in her honor rolled on, the weight moved from Rainbow Dash's back to the pit of her stomach. Pinkie Pie was totally normal again, for Pinkie Pie anyway. Laughing and giggling, hopping around, singing and dancing, gobbling up pastries. Even the cut on her forehead was invisible beneath her dark pink mane. There wasn't even the faintest hint of wailing, despairing, self-destructive Pinky she'd seen earlier. Whatever upset her was apparently gone. But what Rainbow Dash had seen still haunted her. And she couldn't let any sign of her worries show or she'd risk breaking her promise. Actually, I, I, sorry. I, this ponies is I, are re really have issues with keeping promises. Apparently. Yeah, really. <laughs> I just wanted to say, like, real quick, like, for some, it, it's it's horrible and not the, the, the fall of the story, but, like, because of how vague the description of uh, Pinky's quote-unquote party before, I was just imagining, like, Rainbow Dash walking in on a Pinky having a private time if you know what i mean and oh. that's like what you see like Dude. oh god like like the, the the what she saw haunted her i'm just imagining like, rainbow <laughs> just standing there and like a, like a shadowy image of pinky with her back turned to the door just like <laughs> and they're just like ah, ah and tentacles coming out ah. good god why did no. I she has been this? scarred by the uh by the non-euclidean geometry of pinky's Cookies. Oh God! I'm thinking of cooking with the giants. Yeah. Oh. Uh, anyway, continue. Did uh. it just smirk at me? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say wink at me, but there were no way. That's a thing it can do. Oh, God, fuck <laughs> you! That's. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> Continue, continue. Wait, wait, what? Wait, I missed it. 
just the, the, the most. I'll tell you when you're older. Oh god. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. That's what I get for getting distracted by mom texts. Anyway. Oh well, trust me, this isn't something you want to associate with your mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Keep going, keep going. God damn it. <laughs> but what rainbow? Wait. So she had to smile and laugh and celebrate right along with her Earth Pony friend. Not to be confused with the unicorn friend that's been involved in this. Even oh, though shit. she felt like a ball of stress covered with a light dusting of hide and feathers. Actually, another fun thing there with the, the Earth Pony friend. Okay, one, that could okay. refer to Applejack yeah. and Pinkie Pie. But like in this case, the well, way that... It, it, it pretty much would have to refer to Pinkie Pie because she's the only other character that's been brought up. Oh, yeah, no, they're totally... That's the thing of... Yeah. It oh, doesn't yeah. really need to be more specific. Oh, yeah, yeah. In this case, that's not the problem. The problem yeah. is that the way that it's phrased literally just makes me think of, like, Rainbow Dash saying, like, oh, yeah, my, you know, my Earth Pony friend. I'm not racist. I got Earth Pony friends. Pinky, right here, really good friend. Never once had any problem with her being stupid or slow or lazy or anything, you know? Proof that Earth Ponies can be much better than, you know, some of them than are. Than my friend Applejack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Although, uh... I'm sorry, the idea of Rainbow Dash accusing Earth Ponies of being lazy. She's One, she's Rainbow Dash. Two, her Earth Pony friends are Pinky, not lazy. Applejack, not lazy in a different way. Yeah. But the two worst ponies to call lazy. All right, tell me. Oh, dear. As Pinkie anyway. Pie juggled a quartet of frosted petit furs, okay. I'm not sure what... This appears to be some sort of appetizer I'm unfamiliar with. And my knowledge... Let's go Google to the rescue! Okay, um... It says here on Wikipedia, a petite four is a small confectionery or savory appetizer. The name is French, meaning small oven. Ha! That sounds like the sort of thing Pinky would make. Yeah, that sounds like something she'd make. I was just, uh... No, I and and the other name, and I no, there's another name for it. I've also never heard of that name. Mm. It, nor can I pronounce it. Yeah, again, I think the writer <laughs> wrote this with a, thesaur a, th a thesaurus. No, because a oh, thesaurus no, wouldn't give you petit oh, four. Okay, yeah, but like a thesaurus and a Google search. It's just like, or this is always more like weird, obscure knowledge. Pull yeah. out, yeah. put in obscure thing. Yeah. He wants anyway. to be taken as smart, basically. Yeah. yeah. She gl she glanced across the room at her Pegasus friend. During the whole photo finish fiasco, Twilight Sparkle had proven she couldn't keep a secret when it counted. Counted, but Pinky felt she could trust Rainbow Dash. I'm trying to think okay. of any for Rainbow Dash. I don't know. Rainbow Dash doesn't seem like the best person to go to to keep a secret, but yeah, really, yeah, probably better than Rarity, who's frequently shown to say an incurable gossip. Yeah, that's true. And uh... hmm. she should go and tell Sweetie Bell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tell Sweetie yeah. Bell. <laughs> yes, tell tell Sweetie Bell. Hey, hey, Sweetie Gabby Gums. <laughs> yes. Well, Sweetie Bell, I hear that. Um... Um, she'll just put up a, a sign. Pinkie Pie are having a thing. It's just one of those things, you know. She'll just put up a sign. We'll trade Rainbow Dash's secret for cutie mark. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see that now. That's amazing. All right, yeah. continuing though. Continuing. Cutie Mark Crusader Information Brokers. <laughs> cutie Mark Crusader Shadow Broker. <laughs> She had barely said a thing about what she'd seen on Pinky's last birthday, and she'd shown no signs of blurting out what she'd seen today to any of the party guests. Pinky felt relieved that it had been Dash who had seen her outburst. What the hell happened on her last birthday? Um, <laughs> uh, Santa Claus died on her last birthday. That's what happened. Well, that's either referring to Party of One or the other party we were discussing earlier. Oh, God, you're right. Seriously, I'm pretty sure I just saw it stick a tongue out at me. Oh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. Anyway. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're the, you're the you, one, Rainbow Dash. Yes, yeah, she thought to herself. You'll understand. You've got to go. 
You've got to. You, you've got to. Sorry, With a I dramatic thought... flourish, Piggy dropped the miniature cakes into her gaping mouth and gulped them down. Ta-da! <laughs> the party gets stumped applause and cheered. Pinky felt nothing. We will, we will rock you! That's, that's no, 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 that, that's supposed, you're supposed to go into the first verse from there. Well, yeah, no, but there's something... I don't a, remember what the first verse is. There's, there's something there applause is the point. Yeah, young boy. Yeah, playing in yeah. the street, gonna... On the ball someday, someday, you got my yeah, your, face, 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 your big face, disgrace, face. kicking your okay, can all, all over the place. place. We, we, we will, we will, we will, we will rock you. you. God damn it, we can't uh, sing together. Okay, anyway, um, it has been music time with Duhod. With Duhod, Rydell, and Herr Watzig buy our full album on our page. <laughs> <laughs> on, our, on our non-existent Patreon. Anyway. Other, <laughs> other highlights include Marie's lullaby from Vottek. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, same transition. It was after the party and after hours. Bow chicka bow wow. <laughs> and Sugar Cube Corner's main floor was empty of ponies. Same for Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. Bow chicka bow wow. Well, it is Equestria after dark. Oh, shit! Yeah, you know what's up. You know what's up. Continue it, though. Yep. Rainbow Dash had, in Dash had insisted that as the guest of honor and the party organizer, the two of them would handle cleanup on their own. That's oh. what she said! <laughs> God damn it, Michael that Scott. <laughs> the pair tidied up the balloons, streamers, and other party paraphernalia in silence for a time. But soon Rainbow Dash couldn't hold couldn't hold her tongue any longer. She trotted over to the archway leading into the kitchen, where Pinky was busying herself pouring the dregs of the punch down the drain. It's funny how with enough effort you can make everything sound sexual. Not anything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I know. I believe this is Rainbow Dash's line. Pinky? The words seemed to echo. Now that the silence was finally broken, Dash wasn't sure how to continue. It was her first time. Are, are you sure you're okay? Pinky answered without turning around. Of course, silly. Why wouldn't I be okay? <laughs> her tone was slightly just slightly lower and slower than usual. You know why, Pinky. Dash rubbed the back of her rainbow-maned neck with a hoof. Look, I'm not all that good at all this kind of thing. That's what she said. It's my said. first time. But I wouldn't be a very good element of loyalty if I didn't watch out for my friends. And I behind. hate losing. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just imagining the porno version of this right now. <laughs> Look, I'm not very good at these kind of things, but yeah. I would be a very good element of loyalty if I didn't help my fr you know, didn't If I didn't it. watch out for my friends. And, and I, I hate, hate losing. losing. So if something's so wrong, something's I, wrong you're, I want you to you're, tell me, okay? Okay? The safe word is cuddle muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Pinkie Pie's shoulders heaved for a sec, and she let out a tiny whimper. Oh, bow chicka bow wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. <clears throat> I'm not happy, Dash. What? World, it, world shattering revelation. You, you had a down day. Whoa, that's a lot of Rainbow, all cats. Oh, Rainbow Dash trotted closer. It's not funny. Pinkie turned. Suddenly, at, suddenly, almost nose to nose with Rainbow Dash. Her eyes were shining with tears. She could feel Dash's breath on her face. Oh, no. I'm not happy without you. No. <clears throat> I'm not happy! She wailed and threw her hooves around the Pegasus's shoulders. She buried her face in Dash's multicolored mane and sobbed. Blindsided by the outburst, Dash could only hug the Earth Pony back. 
your friends <laughs> oh my god tonight, okay one of us needs to start one. blurring out actual porno music in the background here pretty soon i guess but okay does right. anyone have any smooth jazz i'd love smooth jazz over the next next part but uh suddenly i don't mm. have it on me i might put it in on like the soundtrack or something if you remind me yeah anyway. let's do that yeah I try to be happy, Tash. I try so hard. And I try even harder to make every pony around me happy, too. <laughs> but actually, I just feel so empty inside. And it makes me want to cry. But I do, then everybody will know that there's something wrong with me. And they'll try and get me happy. Silly, silly, fun, pinky back. But I don't want to party, Tash. Sometimes I, I, I want to just. <laughs> you know what? There, there's an explanation for all of this. You know, she mentioned she'd party to exhaustion, so right now she's really tired, and the hallucination was from sleep deprivation. Oh my god! So what we have is, uh, yeah, she hasn't had much sleep lately, and, and, we have is, and is trying to make it better by staying awake more to do more stuff. Wait, 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 but uh, if she, if this is a hallucination, and we're... No, this isn't a hallucination, just the mirror was. The mirror was oh. a hallucination. So we have a weird black swan thing going. And the, uh, smashing her face against it was, you know, just sleep-deprived people aren't in the best mindset. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so this whole thing is Pinkie Pie sleep-deprived, but feels that the uh, solution is to party more, which is uh, making it worse. Okay, that works. Yeah, that well, works. The author obviously wants us to believe, but that actually works way better than what he wants. So mm -hmm. Yep. Pinky collapsed against her friend, coughing out racking sobs between gasping breaths. I don't want to party, Dash! Oh, please, please, don't hate me, Patsy. <laughs> My god. Message for you, sir! So I heard the name Patsy, that's yeah. all I could think of. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. Pinky. Tears of her own stung Rainbow Dash's eyes like bees. Her expression turned stern. I don't hate you. No pony hates you. Everybody loves you, and we won't stop loving you just because you get a little sad. If you want to cry, then go right ahead. Just remember to eat my pussy first. Whoa. Every pony loves you, one after the other. Sometimes <laughs> two or three at once. Actually, wait, okay. All your friends love you at the same time. Oh my god. That's what she but, said. To be fair, this, like, e even in, like, the non-sexual context that the story was obviously intended, this isn't actually true. Like, we just got a scene in the last chapter where everyone was like, oh god, Pinky, she's so fucking annoying. <laughs> Oh, the, that one, I could just see them being worn out. I cannot handle Pinkie Pie doing a musical number right now. Oh, yeah, no, totally. But it's like, yeah. everyone loves you all the time. But, Come on, let's be honest here. Yeah, really. Oh, and, and then, we still love you. But if you sing right now, we're going to strangle you. I'm going to throw you out of this fucking carriage. Yep. I swear to God, darling, if you start singing right now, I am going to shove your head into the, the spokes of this carriage. <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay. That, I love okay, my sister. Well, to the end. But if she, keeps, if she doesn't shut up, I'm going to drown her. Yeah. There you go. Well, All right, let's push ahead. Where were we? <clears throat> at a loss. At a loss for words. At a loss. At a loss for words, Pinky simply obliged. She wept in her friend's embrace for what felt like hours. It's actually, the whole thing's only been an hour and a half. Unleashing emotions that had been devouring her from the inside for years. Bit by bit, the flood of tears slowed to a trickle and finally stopped. <sighs> Thank you, Dash. Pinky sniffled. This means so much to me. I don't know what I've done if you hadn't been there. You're the best! <laughs> Pinky smiled, a tiny, by her standards, smile. In other words, Guilty. practically breaking off of her face. <laughs> Guilty. Chuckled Rainbow Dash, relieved to see a touch of brightness back in her friend's demeanor. Pinky chuckled back and then, but then turned serious. I, um, I, 
I still don't want everybody any else to know what uh, to know about this. Okay, Dash. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Rainbow Dash nodded firmly. I'm sure all of our friends would feel the same way as I do, that's what she said. But a promise is a promise, Pinky. This will be just between us. Flyer's honor. Dash solemnly raised a hoof. Pinkie Pie's smile widened to its customary broadness, and her color seemed to brighten. She hugged her Pegasus friend one more time as Rainbow Dash turned to leave. Still not racist. I hope Pegasus friends. I hug them sometimes. Outside, the sun was creeping behind the horizon as Celestia's duties gave way to Luna's. Rainbow Dash trotted a few paces and then took to the air. Wait, she so, was so the, uh, this says Celestia's duties gave way to Luna's. So yeah. they were partying... Sunsetting. Oh, all day. So, yeah, no, she it's she it mentioned she'd been she you know, she'd been partying late, partying early. Literally, she has gotten less than four hours of sleep in the entire week. Yeah, that's true. Sorry. Anyway, sleep deprivation. Woo. I think this fic is giving me sleep deprivation just by existing. It does feel like I've been awake and reading this for a full week now. Yeah, really. <laughs> Right. Anyway, are you planning on posting the two chapters a week apart? Uh, no, no, I'm gonna put them all in this, like one big video. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> go kill people. Uh, she was only just above Ponyville skyline when she felt a twitch in her back. Helping her friend had felt good, mm -hmm. but it had also been extremely stressful. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> well, there are plenty of ways of relieving stress. Oh, trust me, this is, like, no joke, that's where it's going. Oh, dear God. And there was... To massages? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, to, you know, to, to, to like, and romantic it... massages. Not sexual massages, but, like, romantic massages. Like, she With asked Big it. Macintosh. Oh, man. Oh, no, that wouldn't um, be nearly offensive to gay people enough. Anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. With bigger Macintosh. Oh, man. No. Wait, bigger Macintosh? Bigger That's what Macintosh. he calls it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's good. I like that. Anyway, continuing, though. We're almost done. And there was still that complex rain squall to orchestrate tomorrow, followed by the high-altitude vertical sprint semifinals, and then her duties, teaching Pegasus Foles about proper cloud-busting techniques. Rainbow Dash shook her head. This is a mental. No problem, she right. thought to now, herself. If I could do a sonic rain boom and catch four ponies while doing pulling a thousand G's, which how the fuck did you do that without <laughs> crushing yourself? Fuck. Well, I can handle anything. And uh, that one guy already analyzed it. It was not nearly a thousand G's. Uh, she would have been pulling a ninety degree turn at Mach ten, while still uh. Turn, something that should be able to turn normal bones to jello wouldn't be a thousand G's. Yeah. 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 But the knots in her muscles stayed where they were. Next episode Rainbow Dash Dependence. Oh, great. Oh, you know, you think about it, the mental issues that they're having really aren't that severe. I mean, you have Pinkie Pie's got sleep deprivation. Uh, Rainbow Dash has worked herself into a. Uh, good deal of stress at things that would actually be stressful. Yeah. And then you have you know, someone just kind of reminded Fluttershy of a bad memory and you know, while it took like a long time to read through that, you have to imagine your brain thinks through stuff faster. Oh, that yeah, probably yeah. would have just been a few seconds. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. You can say, it reminds you of something bad and you're like, uh, you, you just kind of recoil for a moment. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so what we have, these ponies, have minor issues. Mm -hmm. Until they all end up in the <laughs> insane we... asylum later. <laughs> Wait, they do? I don't remember that well, happening. Spoiler that must warning, be one of the, the new... In the sequel, okay. one of them does. I, okay, I was going to say, I, I when I read it, I believe I had read up through the, uh, sec the second chapter of Twilight, and I believe the fic was even marked complete. Yeah. Because it even like brought itself to a point where it seemed like it wrapped up, and then I look here and there's more chapters now. Yeah, there's also a sequel, and the sequel's, like, the, the, the story is offensive. The sequel is, like, almost, le like, proper let's read levels of stupid. 
Uh-oh. Um, but I just want to quickly point out the next chapter, which we'll be getting to next week, the DDSM, uh, and this was actually one that was in one much older version of the DDSM. <laughs> the, the mental issue, if you want to take a guess what mental issue is, is being the focus of that one for Rainbow Dash? What? Lesbianism. What? Are you? What? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. It seems weird that Rainbow Dash is the one everyone goes to for lesbianism. Ray, uh, Rainbow Dash is the one where the where that question was actually addressed by Lauren Faust. <laughs> yes, the the only character we have a confirmed canon sexual orientation. Well, she didn't explicitly say. Well, she didn't explicitly say her sexual orientation, but she did address the reasons that people were making were making that the reasons people were making that assumption weren't valid yeah. and were actually offensive. Yeah. Jeez. No, because it's like it's not just that you're. Yeah, I think she actually was saying like like yeah. calling her a lesbian it's because she's hair like, color and the fact that she's kind of a tomboy. Yeah. Ray Dash's tomboys. personality is actually is actually rather it to a large degree based off Lauren Faust herself. Yeah. Someone get <laughs> someone get freaking Allison Bechdel on this. If I, the only one where we ha- the closest one we have to a co- ones we have to a confirmed sexual orientation would be uh. Twilight and Rarity, right? In which the uh, response is not completely homosexual. Yeah, in they have cases, interest yeah. in male. Yeah. They have actually interest in men. And, so yeah, either least, heterosexual or bisexual. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, or pansexual yeah. Yeah. or pansexual, demisexual or yeah. it's anything that isn't it, it, straight homosexual or straight asexual is the only yeah. thing we have like. Well, I'm like, sure there's other stuff we can eliminate too, just because when you really start breaking it down, okay, there's yeah. a ton there's, of there's, really specific ones. The sexuality spectrum is enormous, but like in terms of like the really common ones that like kind of are the bases <laughs> for most of the subcategories, you know, asexual yeah. and homosexual are the only ones that we have confirmed not strictly that. Yeah, and really. Specifically, f- yeah, for Rarity and Twilight. Yeah, and that's just for Rarity yeah. and Twilight. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Well, see you guys next week for the next two chapters, at which point we will then probably begin drinking bleach before the beginnings of each recording. Oh, dear. For uh, not- but the, on- the only uh, detergent I have isn't bleach, because all my clothes are color. You just disappoint me at every turn, don't you? Oh, <laughs> what, oh, what, what do I need bleach I'm for? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, anyway. I've been Duhud. That was Rydell. And I've been Tech. Well, I was going to yeah. go to Rydell to, to, to like say oh. to acknowledge his voice. All right. uh, I think I uh, didn't hate that as much as you two. Fair enough. And, of course, Hair Watson from the Library of the Damned. Uh, maybe you'll see me there this Thursday. Yeah, check it out. Uh, anyway, we hope you guys had, uh, had fun reading along with us, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.